Close to a year ago, Ubiquiti released the UNAS Pro, a rack mount NAS device running unified drive that blended functionality, ease of use, and accessibility into one of, if not the most user-friendly NAS devices that you could buy. For the past year, Ubiquiti has been improving unified drive, and they've added multiple storage pools, RAID 6, new cloud backup destinations, and an improved user interface to make accessing and managing your data even easier. I've said this in videos in the past, but Unified Drive is the most user-friendly NAS operating system that you can use, and it's not particularly close. From the setup using the Unify app and adopting it, to creating new shared drives, and then configuring snapshots and backups, Unified Drive is just easier, and in a lot of ways, better than the competition. The biggest downside, quite honestly, was that if you didn't want a seven bay rack mount NAS device, you didn't really have any options as the UNAS Pro was Ubiquiti's only offering. Today, that all changes as Ubiquiti announced four new NAS devices, the UNAS 2, UNAS 4, UNAS Pro 4, and UNAS Pro 8. The UNAS 2 and UNAS Pro 8 are available for ordering today. And the UNAS 4 and UNAS Pro 4 will be available later this year. These devices all run Unified Drive, but are very different from a hardware perspective and are all pretty unique in their own right. For example, the UNAS 2 can be powered by PoE++, while the UNAS 4 can be powered by PoE++. They're both desktop NAS devices that don't require power cables, just an individual ethernet cable is all that's needed to run them. If you don't have a PoE switch, they'll come with PoE adapters that you can use to power the device. The UNAS Pro 4 is a four bay, one UNAS device with two SSD slots for caching. Quite honestly, I think this will be a great device for almost everyone, as four bays is the most popular configuration that most users are interested in, and it being one U is a win as well. Finally, the device that I've been testing, which we'll be focusing on in this video, the UNAS Pro 8. How it stacks up against the UNAS Pro is what we'll be looking at in this video. The UNAS Pro 8 has a few key differences, and then there's the whole performance side of things that we'll talk about later. First, from a networking perspective, rather than having an individual 10 gig SFP Plus port like the UNAS Pro does, it has two 10 gig SFP Plus ports that actually support MC lag for enterprise setups and a 10 gig RJ45 port. All of those ports are on the back where the UNAS Pro has its one 10 gig SFP Plus port on the front of the device. It also has redundant hot swappable power supplies though it only comes with one, meaning that if one dies or is accidentally unplugged, as long as you buy the second one, you won't lose power and everything will continue working as usual. You can also replace them while the device is running, which is a nice feature to have. The next and biggest change though, is that it supports SSD cache. It's made a pretty big difference from a performance perspective. On the back of the device, there are two slots for M.2 SSDs. And to install them, you just slide the M.2 SSD trays into the device. It's a toolless design and it's very easy to use. After the SSDs are added to the UNAS Pro 8, you can format them in the storage section of the control panel and then assign them as SSD cache for your storage pool. You have two options, RAID 0 that is used as read only cache and RAID 1 which is used as read write cache. For the most part, there's not really any setup process and the default settings allow for optimal performance. Select the type of cache you'd like to use, assign it to the storage pool and you're good to go. Now from a performance perspective, I wanna be clear that the UNAS Pro was tested with the official release version of Unified Drive, while the UNAS Pro 8 was tested with an early access Unified Drive version that can change with release, meaning the performance that I'm going to show can change and improve when you get the device. I tried to test these NAS devices against each other using the best case scenario for the UNAS Pro and an ordinary setup for the UNAS Pro 8. The UNAS Pro was configured with six drives in RAID 10, which will provide the best overall performance that the device supports, while the UNAS Pro 8 was configured with four drives in RAID 5, but utilizing a read-write SSD cache, which the UNAS Pro does not support. The whole RAID 5 with SSD cache versus RAID 10 without SSD cache will make more sense later on in the video when we compare some of the other differences between these devices. From a general perspective and averaging the test scores, 
the UNAS Pro 8 had much better read and write performance with small files over the UNAS Pro thanks to the SSD cache. With larger files, simulating the streaming of a large video file as an example, the UNAS Pro had slightly higher sustained read speeds than the UNAS Pro 8, which makes sense because that's more on the RAID type than the cache. So from a pure performance perspective, the UNAS Pro 8 shined in small workloads due to the SSD cache, but the UNAS Pro caught up to it when it came to sustained workloads, which rely on the RAID type. So why would that be? SSD cache is not a miracle that works in all situations. It improves the performance in specific scenarios, but not all scenarios. The underlying RAID type that you select plays a big part in the performance you'll receive. And when I switch the UNAS Pro 8 to RAID 10 with the six drives, meaning the same setup as the UNAS Pro, it was better across the board. So what does this all mean? The UNAS Pro 8 will be better from a performance perspective in every measurable way over the UNAS Pro. And with the SSD cache, you can technically configure RAID 5 or RAID 6 on the UNAS Pro 8 and see similar but not identical performance to RAID 10 on the UNAS Pro. I know that doesn't sound like a big deal, but when you consider that you can store significantly more data with similar but again not identical performance, it's pretty impressive. And it's not common to be comparing RAID 5 and RAID 6 with SSD cache versus RAID 10, but I really wanted to showcase that you really have to have the best case scenario for the UNAS Pro to even come close to competing with the UNAS Pro 8 with SSD cache. That also ignores the benefit of the additional drive bay, which can help with performance as well. But more importantly, in my opinion, it allows you to store more data, which is the most important part of a NAS. So with all of this said, in general, if performance is your only goal, the UNAS Pro 8 is a better option in every way. So now that we know which device is better from a performance perspective, the next biggest thing to discuss is the price. The UNAS Pro costs $499, which quite honestly is an amazing deal and it always has been. The UNAS Pro 8 is $799, so for $300 more, you get dual hot swappable power supplies, but keep in mind it only comes with one, three total 10 gig connections, 16 gigabytes of memory instead of the eight gigabytes that the UNAS Pro comes with, SSD cache, and an extra drive bay. They both have the same processor, so you're not gonna see drastically different performance that way. So now that we know the differences, who are these devices for? If you're a small business or you just want the best overall device from a performance perspective, the UNAS Pro 8 is the best option. It will perform better in every measurable way than the UNAS Pro when comparing apples to apples. If you're a home user who doesn't want to use SSD cache and only needs seven drive bays, the UNAS Pro is still a great device. I've been running it for close to a year at this point and it's been very reliable and I've really grown to love Unified Drive as I've said in multiple videos in the past. Overall though, they're both great devices. With that said, to be completely honest with you, there's not much of a comparison. Head to head with price aside, the UNAS Pro 8 is a better overall device and the device that you should purchase if money is no object. For people who don't need that type of performance or just want to save some money, the UNAS Pro is still a great option even a year later, especially at that price point. These are close enough that you should really be comparing the exact differences, meaning drive bays, SSD cache, networking, and the power supplies. Take your requirements, see how it fits into those differences, and make your decision that way, because they are very, very similar, but those little differences that seem like little differences actually add up to being a lot. I hope you guys got some value out of this video, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I have affiliate links for these devices in the description. If you use them, I will earn a small commission at no cost to you, so thank you for your support. Other than that, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.